subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. Today we have the OnePlus 6 versus Samsung's best Note 8. Well, you could say that's the S9 Plus. For me, it's the Note series, always the best from Samsung. But you can see that, you know what, the Note 8 has come down in price point, especially if you look third party. It's coming in around the same price point as a OnePlus 6. Let's go ahead and boot them up at the same time to see which one is faster, three, two, one. And we'll see which one does get to the home screen first. Now you can argue that having eight gigabytes of RAM is overkill for this OnePlus 6, but I do have that here with a Snapdragon 845. And the Galaxy Note 8 has six gigabytes of RAM with the 835. Now I haven't had lag on either one of these phones. So it's gonna be interesting to see which one is slightly faster. OnePlus 6 looks to be like a winner on the boot up. So Samsung is losing on this boot up test. So the first win, at least booting up your phone, goes to OnePlus. Plus. Okay, so let's talk about their fingerprint speed. On the OnePlus 6, it is in the middle, so it is in a better location. On the Note 8, it's up on the right next to the camera. A lot of people did not like this location, although I found it to be a pretty good fingerprint scanner overall when it comes to its accuracy. 3, 2, 1 for the OnePlus, and you can see just super fast. 3, 2, 1, boom, 3, 2, 1, boom, 3, 2, 1, and boom. Now, on the Note 8, if we hit the fingerprint, you can see it's a little bit delayed when it comes to the time it takes to open that fingerprint. It's not like slow or anything, but it just seems a little bit slower than the one on the OnePlus 6 that just really wants to get you into that phone extremely fast. Now, sometimes I miss on the OnePlus 6 and it vibrates a little bit. Same thing with the Note 8. But when it comes to overall speed, the OnePlus 6 is a little bit faster here as well. What about that quick launch to get to the camera? Three, two, one. And you could see that looked like the OnePlus 6. Let's do that again. Three, two, one. And that one looked like the Note 8. Let's do it again. And three, two, one. And that looked like the Note 8 again. So one more time just for good measure. Three, two, one. And that looked like the Note 8 slightly. So that quick launch feature might be a little bit faster for the Note 8, but it's so close, it doesn't really matter. They both have that same quick launch feature from the power buttons on the right side. Just a quick double tap. Now they both also have face unlock, but I found that the OnePlus 6 is much faster. Check it out, three, two, one. And let's do it again, three, two, one. And there's the OnePlus 6. Okay, so over here on the Galaxy Note 8, this one's not quite as accurate. I have to get really close to the phone and it really has to see me because the OnePlus can kind of see you from wherever. It's a very fast facial recognition. Although it's not super secure, the Note 8 is not that great either on this facial recognition. Three, two, one. You can see there it goes one more time, three, two, one. And there it goes. So I had to get really close. You probably heard me rubbing up against the mic a little bit. This one from anywhere, you can basically just look at it and it goes. I mean, it's much better on the OnePlus. So if you're looking for speed of facial recognition, OnePlus. So OnePlus wins on the boot up test, the facial unlock and the screen unlock time. It's just gonna get into the phone faster overall than a Galaxy Note 8. Confirming their softwares, eight gigabytes of RAM. We have 5.1.5 Oxygen OS, 8.1.0 Oreo here. So on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, I do have Android 8.0 Oreo and Samsung Experience version 9.0 for this speed test. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. You can see everything is closed out on both of the devices. Let's begin with calendar three, two, one. And you can see that's the Note 8 coming home. Let's go into clock. That's the one plus six. Let's go into calculator. One plus six, let's go into settings. One plus six, let's go into Instagram. And that's gonna be the Note 8. Let's flip through some menus here. One plus six there, let's go and open a photo. Note eight on that one, let's click the heart and scroll, about the same. Going through here, you can see very similar performances on both of them. Let's go into Twitter, and Twitter opens first on the left over the Note eight, going into some notifications, for example. And you can see, boom, let's go into Snapchat. Snapchat opens first on the right, WhatsApp. That's the one plus, YouTube. And you can see YouTube on the left very slightly and Netflix. And we should see Netflix open first on the left over the Note 8. So it looks like the OnePlus seems to be a little bit faster in all of these applications here so far. But let's keep in mind, it's mostly just an animation. Let's go into eBay. But OxygenOS is a little bit faster, of course, than the Samsung UI. 
Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. See which one does win here. I have to agree to terms. I got to redo that one because I had to agree to the terms there on Jetpack. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Jetpack Joyride and see which one gets there first. That's clearly the one plus six. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 and more graphically intensive game. One plus six seems to be ahead and it is. We're playing the game. Yes, looks like we're going to be playing the game first on the one plus six. And yes, we are. So we're in the gaming round on the one plus six first. Both of them do play extremely well when it comes to actual gameplay. Mario Run. Let's go ahead and see which one can open this up first. And we are ready to play first over here on the one plus six. But will we get into that game first on the one plus six? That is the question. So let's hit tour. About the same. Not too much of a difference. So you're seeing that even with the 835, doesn't really matter too much. Rather, you use an 845 or an 835. Both these phones are very fast. 845 just has a slight lead right now. Now, over time, this will matter because, you know, having an 845 over time will last longer into the future. Let's go into Slither. And you can see Slither opens first on the OnePlus 6. So OnePlus 6 with really good performance. Let's go into Video Shop. And you can see that's the OnePlus 6. And let's come home and let's go into Geekbench and geek bench geek bench and you can see that's the one plus six let's hit accept and let's go into speed test you can see speed test first on the left let's go into chrome chrome on the left first i would say the one plus six not really that much faster but definitely enough faster to say you have a faster phone on the one plus six okay so let's go ahead and run through them on multitasking chrome you could see about the same speed test i don't expect to see any reloads on either now the samsung s9 did choke a little on jetpack in my last speed test with a samsung versus one plus but i don't expect that to happen twice that was pretty rare but you can see even on the opening times it looks like the animation speed gives the nod a little bit to that one plus six so to the eye the one plus six will feel faster again i have one x animations on both of them but keep in mind that the note 8 has slightly smoother you know animations so overall you know what i think the note 8 does offer a pretty incredible performance for you know just being you know everything it offers you know all the features that are packed in there it's still an incredible performance i'm not trying to say say anything against one plus they definitely have the faster phone here between these two but the note 8 has a smoother looking animation to me although not quite as fast in the ram management round goes to the one plus six okay so the final geekbench scores are in you could see that the one plus six is an absolute win over the note 8 scores here on both single and multi-core here and that's about it we just showcased to you that the one plus six offering incredible speed even beating 950 dollars phones when the note 8 was released so keep in mind that you are getting great performance here but at the same time you're not getting a pen with the one plus six you're not getting that higher resolution display you're not getting expandable storage like you get on the note 8 and you don't get the ip68 the note 8 is loaded with many more features than you get on the one plus six but the one plus six as far as speed is concerned is the faster phone anyway if you want to see the full comparison between these two where i break down my honest feelings let me know down below and i will consider making that so you can decide which one is the better purchase personally i've been digging the note 8 a little bit more but that's just a you know that's just an opinion we have to talk about why that is and that's it if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me and which one do you think is the better device we know the one plus six is a slightly faster device but which one do you think is the better device i'd like to know your thoughts comment them down below subscribe if you haven't already i will catch you all in the next episode be sure to be well nick here and peace